because only the best boys are invited to Gordon's party and you're not a best boy. And you never will be! <laughs> That's what he thinks. Item number 64 on the agenda. Good deeds for this week. Oh, picking up lollipop wrappers. Collecting pennies for the baby bees. Protecting ourselves from those who would deceive us. <laughs> I'll do anything to go to go kart crazy. Item number 357. New Best Boys Club members. What? I don't remember putting that on the agenda. Well, it's here. All written down in... Ooh, your spelling's gone all wrong, Peter. Let me see. Ugh, that's not my handwriting. But it's on the agenda, Peter. And we have to stick to the agenda, otherwise who knows what will happen. But all those who agree with me, raise their hands. Oh, what? Where am I? So... Do we have anyone who wants to join the Best Boys Club? Uh oh. I'm on! I do! You do? Yes, I do! Only. Only what, Henry? Only. I'm not very good at making beds and being tidy and doing good things. In, in fact, I'm not very good at doing anything at all. Don't worry, Henry. We'll help you do all those things. No! Don't believe him! He's not very good at doing anything at all because he doesn't want to be good at doing anything at all! All he wants to be good at is being horrid! And he's never, ever had a good as gold star! <laughs> you can have one of my good as gold stars, Henry. Welcome to the Best Boys Club. Oh, I can't thank you enough. Come on, let's go and do some tidying up. Oh, the things I'll do to go to go kart crazy. <laughs> Guess. Henry. Horrid Henry. Yes, but you're not. I'm not your Miss Battlex, no. But I am Miss Battlex. I am Boudicca's twin sister. That's why the picture was there, Henry. What do you mean? The picture when you thought old Battlex was talking to you. It was her twin sister. Oh, yeah. Still weird, though. Yeah, still weird, Henry. Anyway, where was I? Yeah, we're going to tell me how you ended up holding hands with a bogey brain girl. Yeah, so anyhow, she said she wasn't going to punish us. Our own Miss Battleaxe would do that. Cool. Well, uh, not cool. No. But anyway, that's not what we were worried about. We needed to find a way to get out. And it seemed like the only way we were going to get out was to dress like girls. <laughs> it's not funny. Yet it is. <laughs> and watch out for those girls. They bite. Thanks. I'll go first. Good luck. So, not holding hands yet then, Henry? No. You know what happened next. <laughs> Believe 
outed that, Henry. Margaret wanted to go back for a fluffy fair. It was too dangerous. <laughs> Looks like that's our only way out. If we're quick, we might just make it. Wait. <laughs> if we give up now, we're dead, Henry. What happened next, Henry? That's when Bogey Brain turned to me and said, Ready, Beetle Breath? And I said, Ready as I'll ever be, Bogey Brain. <laughs> Henry. No, it's not. How did it feel, Henry? How did what feel? Holding hands with a bogey brain girl. Well, like holding hands with a bogey brain girl, I guess. Anyway, now you know what happened. Yep. Uh, now we know what happened. What do you mean, we? You mean you and me, right? Well, you and me and everyone out there. <laughs> Ingredient. <laughs> <laughs> it's all yours. Oh, I nearly forgot. I won't if you won't. I'm not scared. Neither am I. Ooh. Let's call it a draw. Okay. What are we going to do with all this glop? Peter! Susan! Dinner's ready!
you are, Henry. Ooh. Oh, hi there, Nurse Needle. Uh, is it my turn now? Shall I roll up my sleeve? Thank you, Henry. But the injection will be in your other arm. The other arm? Oh. I wish the teachers wouldn't leave their lunch lying around. seem a bit warm. Well, I can't give you this injection if you're not well. You can't? No, I can't. So how do you feel? <laughs> oh, you poor thing. You need to go home and get some rest. No injection for you today. <laughs> This is great! No injection, tea in bed, and no school tomorrow! You all right, Henry? More ice cream, please. Is it helping your sore throat? Oh, yes, it's very soothing. Of course, some chocolate sauce would really help. Well, OK, but only if the doctor says you can. Hello, Henry. I hear you're not feeling well. <coughs> Just got a <coughs> bit of a <coughs> cough. Breathe in. <gasps> Does it hurt here? Oh, yes. Very painful. And here? Oh, the pain. The pain. And what about here? Ow! That really hurts. Well, that is most unusual. Well? I'm afraid there's only one cure for what Henry's got. Of course, an injection. Oh, how I love Christmas! The chance to get everything you've always wanted. I'm going to ask him for a million pounds. A parrot, a motorbike, a swimming pool, a trampoline, uh... <laughs> Toy heaven! On a board! Choo -choo! Henry, get down! <laughs> now! Whee! And the chance to get all the things you didn't even know you wanted till you saw them! Wow! Santa better get me one, or else. Santa's generally willing to help out. I want a galactic goo shooter more than anything. Oh, and a boom boom basher too. <laughs> <laughs> well, um... Here, this is for you, Santa. Unless there's a word oh, that gets in man. the way. That is most kind. What about my presents? Well, we'll see about that. Great! When grown-ups say we'll see, that always means yes! And when it snows, I know it's going to be the best Christmas ever, because we get to make a snowman! I said snowman! Look! Mine's bigger than yours already! Though sometimes stuck-up Steve gets a bit too big for his bossy boots. And I have to remind him who's the best snowman builder in the world. So, that's how you want to play. <laughs> yep! That's not a snowman, that's a smelly, nappy baby ice angel. Mine's the biggest! Mine's the biggest! Mine's the, the biggest! biggest. <laughs> so snow's the best thing that can happen at Christmas, for sure! 
But what if it doesn't snow this year? No. There's no snow. No snow. No snow. Has it snowed yet? <gasps> what was that noise? Face it, Ralph, we're just the greatest pirates ever! <laughs> yeah, too true! I reckon we are, Henry! Bubble Hand Gang Pirates rule! Cool! Very cool. Yeah, very. Secret Club Pirate Parade? You what? Yeah, so, are you going? No, I mean... Oh, it's going to be really cool. Everyone's going. Well, except you, Henry. No! Very kind of you, Henry. Uh, I did want to ask you something. What's that, Henry? I wondered if you could persuade Margaret not to have a secret club pirate parade. Well... I beg your pardon. I said... What does he want? Well, I think he was asking if you could not have a secret club pirate parade. No way! A purple hand gang pirates rule! <laughs> secret club pirates rule, OK? Ah, you smelly great slug! Come along, dear. Let's get away from this horrid boy. Ooh, guess what? Margaret's invited me to her secret club pirate parade. Woohoo! It's this weekend and everyone's going and... And secret club pirates rule, OK? Yeah, I know. Yeah! Purple hang gang pirates rule, OK? this weekend, so I'll let Peter know, OK? Henry, I don't know what you're talking about. And anyway, it's Peter's poetry competition. So? So easy being me, I'm Well, dear, it's not easy, you know, running a country. Rubbish! I can do it standing on my head. Well, dear... Don't you well, dear me! I can do it and that's that! Yes, dear. Don't you yes, dear me, either! So that's why nothing at all can be done about it. <laughs> that's enough of that! Where are you going, dear? To get myself elected. Elected as what? President of the free world, of course. Please, 
yourself elected as president of the free world, Miss Matterlax. Are you now, Margaret? I suppose you think it's a bad idea, Miss Matterlax. On the contrary, I think it's a very good idea. Uh, you're not an American citizen, but we'll pass over that. I can speak American, Miss. Yeah. Yes, thank you. That won't be necessary, Margaret. Yes, Miss. So, I am going to nominate you. Oh, thank you, Miss. You're going to need a good campaign manager. Any volunteers? Come on! This is your chance to make history! Henry? Yes, miss. I'll be Moody... I mean, Margaret's campaign manager. Well... Easy being me, I'm Henry. Henry? It's Margaret again. That's the sixth time she's called this evening. Is there something you want to tell me, Henry? No way! Can I tell him what it's about, Margaret? She says she wants to discuss her motivation. Oh, again? Hello? School Panto! She's the star, and I'm the director. Listening. But, so my question is, should I wear the sequins or the sparkles? And if I wear the sparkles... But you're wondering how this happened. It's just another boring school day. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Margaret. Is it fancy dress day today? I hereby announce that today is the day and get the best part in the school panto. I hereby announce that this year's panto is cancelled due to lack of interest, or rather, lack of funds. has been saved! Yay! <laughs> Due to the kindness of a mystery benefactor. That's my dad. Mystery benefactor. Uh, yes, thank you, Margaret. Oh, don't thank me! Thank my dad. So, where were we? Auditions, Miss Battleaxe. Pardon, Margaret? The pant or the thing, I reckon. So we should audition now, don't you reckon? You're right, Margaret. The panto's the thing. But first, we need a director. Easy. 